everybody. Welcome to another amazing episode of The Unbox Boys. <laughs> I'm Dave. <laughs> Did I almost punch you? <laughs> you were just like... <laughs> I'm Dave, along with my son, I'm, Elias. He's over here. <laughs> and fresh out of the uh, mail hall from Larry the Mailman, we've got from the uh, new Spider-Man wave here, Marvel's Beetle. Okay, so uh, as the Spider-Man uh, in the uh, homemade suit that we reviewed before, this uh, came over the weekend as uh, ordered it from Amazon.com. It was up there for a bit. In fact, it may still be available up there. I'm not sure, but it came and went really quick up there. I think this is actually scheduled for a May uh, release date. Let's check out the box on the, the Beetle. This comes with a, uh, uh, you know how they kind of sometimes do a, a pairing up of a couple figures. So this is Sinister Villains. Uh, and the build a figure is the vulture uh, waves the uh, what do they call it the flight gear which is supposed to be about two feet wide if you get all seven of the figures uh, but when I say uh, sinister villains they team a couple of people up on the back and uh, so we've got Marvel's beetle on the back there as well as Marvel's tombstone if you want to do that read up which is not really specific to either one of them you can pause that now down here all the figures that you need to build those uh, the Vulture flight gear, including three versions of Spider-Man, uh, Marvel's Moon Knight, which looks pretty awesome. Then you've got Tombstone, Beetle, and Marvel's Vulture himself. Bottom of the box, nothing to talk about. Let's open it up and check out the slap. And there he is looking pretty sweet, Marvel's Beetle. Honestly, I didn't think I would like this figure as much as I do, but uh, it's pretty cool. Once you get the... Uh, the wings on here, these were a bit of a booger to get on there, but once you <laughs> get them in, uh, it's it, it's pretty sweet. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he'll look nice uh, set up on a, a stand to kind of give him a flight look. Uh, the only thing this comes with, uh, apart from the, the, the wings and other beetle parts there, is this uh, build an accessory piece for, uh, for Vulture's uh, wings, his uh, flight gear. So that's what mm -hmm. comes with that build a figure. Let's... Um, check them out take a little closer look here at beetle um as far as the slap scale goes sculpt first uh and i'm not sure if this is based on another body sculpt uh or not but i think it looks cool um kind of muscular ripped uh as he should be i think this is uh simplistic but effective i think the wings they've got some nice uh, texture going on uh, there and some versatility with those as well to where you've got a lot of hinges and, and ways that you can you can kind of move those around and adjust accordingly I think uh, this is nice uh, here on the belt some of the, the sculpt that he's got there um, maybe a little too defined in the rear end area <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it's, it's been working on them loops. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, and then the legs uh, <laughs> look good as far as kind of rippling muscles and, and nicely sculpted. So we'll give it a, a full point for the sculpt. Full point. Likeness, all I've got to go by is what's on the box. Uh, I haven't seen him in, in a comic or in a film form, so we're going to be gracious. And we'll just give that a full point for likeness. Full point. Articulation. The head uh, would probably be a little more flexible if you didn't have these little kind of beetle wings up here. But uh, this is somewhat pliable, flexible, so that doesn't hinder too much. So the head's got some pretty good motion there. It uh, goes back about that far down pretty nicely. Uh, as far as the shoulders go, again, typical Marvel Hasbro uh, thing where you've got the, the rotating shoulder you've got the bicep cut there double jointed elbow and the wrist uh, which twists and goes up and down and i believe that's the same on both sides yes it is uh, he's got an ab crunch uh, which i think is a nice cut there just under the under the rib cage he's just ripped man this dude's like <laughs> he's working out uh in the uh, as far as the ab crunch goes, I mean, that's that's a pretty good fold, I'd say. Uh, he goes back about that far and probably even farther if we move these wings a bit. A twist at the waist. The uh, legs go out 
for a split about that far forward and back uh, he can uh, run and jump and leap he's got an <laughs> upper thigh cut double jointed knee a boot cut yes he does and the uh, rocker and pivot on the feet everything you'd want from one of these Marvel Legends figures we'll give him a full point for articulation full point then on to the paint uh, and there's not a lot of it uh, this looks mostly like a mold, uh, I'm guessing. I mean, this is yeah. molded. It's not painted. I'm guessing that's the same, although it has kind of a sheen to it, but I'm pretty sure that's just plastic. Uh, this is kind of a, a, a flimsier plastic piece there. Maybe these eyes are painted. Um, but this looks like a solid mold, too, and a little bit marbled. You can see here uh, some of that plastic marbling kind of coming through a bit on the legs and the boots, uh, which make it look... Uh, a little translucent there. Maybe that's intentional. I'm not positive. Uh, I'm not sure if that's, you know, just uh, due to the mold. It's even there on his shoes. I think it actually looks kind of cool. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. it, so not a lot of complaints there as far as uh, the look of it goes. So we'll give it a full point for paint. Full point. So overall, we'd rank this guy right up there with John, Paul, George, and Ringo. He's a pretty awesome beetle. Oh. I was like, dad joke, dad joke. achievement unlocked. Well. Uh, Beetle gets a four out of four on the slap scale. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, be sure to slap that thumbs up and share it with your friends. Click our circular logo in the top left to subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free. And there's a link to another video you might like in the bottom left. If you want to reach out to us, comment or check out our info in the description below. And above all, remember, God loves you. It's the truth. And Jesus is the proof. The Unbox Boys.